welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Genesis, the first chapter, the first through the fifth verse. And it talks about how God created the heavens and the earth, how he created light and how he divided that light from darkness. So allow me to read this scripture to you. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and morning were the first day. So here it is. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. And God is hovering over the waters. What does it mean to hover? It means to just uh, fly above, just uh, be in the air, hovering, just looking out over the waters. And so it's dark and so God decided that he should do something about the darkness. And so in the darkness that was going on, God decided that he didn't like darkness any longer. And so in the darkness, God says, let there be light. And there was light. Just like that, God spoke those four words saying, let there be light in order that he may continue to create the world. And so the earth was without form, meaning God did not know what shape he wanted the earth to be. So do you, can you imagine him sitting around and saying, I think the world should be, the earth should be a triangle. And so he formed it into a triangle. Well, that did not work for his plan. And so then he probably thought to himself, what if it were to be a square? A square? Nah, I don't think so. And then God decided, I know, I'll make it round. I will make it so that it can spin on its axis, so that it would spin away from the sun for darkness and back to the sun for light. And so God knew exactly what he wanted the earth to look like and what he wanted the earth to do. And so when he decided that he wanted light to represent day and darkness would represent night, he said, those can't be together. And so he separated light from darkness. What a creative God we serve. And so he saw that the light and the darkness represented something good, something he could work with. And so he decided that he would call uh, the evening and the morning, the first day. 
So we thank God for him speaking the words, let there be light, that he created day and he created night. So tonight, before you say your prayers, ask your mom or your dad, whomever is turning off the lights, to just stand there after they turn the lights off. Say, say, stay by the light, stay by the light. I want to say what God said when he created day and night. So tell them, go ahead, turn off the lights. And then say, this is what God said. Let there be light. And then say your prayers and tell God, thank you for creating the earth and the heavens, for creating night and day. And remember, as we talked last evening, last week, that we should always let our light shine. See you next time.